The Biden administration is actively hiding the truth about Tucker Carlson. Is he a Russian NASA? What does he get for broadcasting the most clumsy Russian propaganda about the Russian invasion of Ukraine? Does he have sex with dogs? Should we all have sex with dogs? What else is there that the American citizen should know about the beloved talk talks? Tucker Carlson, one of the most famous and successful conservative TV hosts and political commentators on Fox News. From the very beginning of the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine, and even before that, Carlson took a rather interesting position on this issue. And I am Ukrainian, who is very desperate in searching for the guys who tried to help Russia in a war against my people. So I think I deserve a couple of minutes of attention, and maybe even a like under this video. Let's see what Tucker Carlson deserves. Wait a second, why is it disloyal to side with Russia but loyal to side with Ukraine. Right. So let's see. Russia has started the biggest war in Europe since World War II, which was also, by the way, started by Russia. Russia has now committed genocide in Ukraine, which includes mass murder, rape, deportations, concentration camps, and burning prisoners of war alive inside the prisons. <laughs> Russia has occupied a nuclear plant and is threatening to blow it up. Oh, and also Russia is threatening the whole world with the nuclear apocalypse. It committed murders using chemical weapons in Europe, made attempts to intervene in elections in the US and some European countries. Russia paid Taliban bounties for killing the American soldiers. And Vladimir Putin publicly says that Russian borders are ending nowhere. So has anybody seen the reason not to side with Russia? Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Happy Monday. Here's something we just saw. I wish we brought it to you earlier. Well, Tucker definitely loves siding with Russia. Why do I why care about what's going on in the conflict between Ukraine and Russia? Be because, and I'm serious. Like, why do I, I tell you why? And why shouldn't I root for Russia? Be which I am. By some coincidence, Tucker decided to transmit every talking point the Russian government is trying to spread here. Tucker is trying to convince his viewers that NATO exists only to irritate Putin, while Putin is just doing his job. At this point, NATO exists primarily to torment Vladimir Putin, who, whatever his many faults, has no intention of invading Western Europe. Vladimir Putin does not want Belgium. He just wants to keep his Western border secure. Yes, Putin does not want to invade Belgium, because Belgium is here and Europe is much bigger and starts in Ukraine, not in Belgium. And even if you are so full of dicks that Ukraine is not Europe for you, here are some countries of the European Union between Russia and Belgium, countries which Russians are constantly threatening to invade on their official Russian state TV shows. Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Czech Republic, Germany. And just an additional gig, Russian official state propagandist and personal Putin friend Dmitry Kisilov made a prime time show talking on the perspective of full nuclear annihilation of the United Kingdom. And Britain is even more to the west than Belgium. So Russia is a real threat to the whole of Europe, while Tucker is making a silly face selling to some American the lies that Europe starts in Belgium or that only Western Europe is the one people need to save. And Central Eastern and Northern Europe are just fine to be invaded. Or they can just start cooking waffles and chocolates, speak French legalized euthanasia and hope that Putin won't be interested to invade all countries, as he usually prefers everything young. Oh, and don't forget Britain. Who the fucks need Britain, right? One of Russia's most watched networks played a clip where Carlson defended Russian anger about NATO involvement in Ukraine. Of course, Russian media loves Tucker Carlson and uses his speeches to justify the madness of Russian leaders. But if you don't believe the MSNBC, watch the real Russian political TV shows. What мысли многих американцев озвучил известный американский ведущий Такер Карлсон. Самый популярный рейтинговый американский телеведущий Такер Карлсон. Телеведущий Такер Карлсон так в эфире канала Fox News. Fox News ведущий Такер Карлсон. Такер Карлсон. What's next? Russian propagandists will ask Tucker to interview Vladimir Putin? Oh, sorry, they already have. Because of all that glowing coverage he's getting on their state media, the Daily Beast reported just days ago, some of the Kremlin's biggest mouthpieces are openly calling for Putin to be interviewed by none other than Tucker Carlson. Putin invaded Ukraine because he's bad. End of conversation. And anyone who says otherwise is immediately denounced as a tool of Russian propaganda. No, Tucker, no, no. If you repeat the talking points of a murderous, genocide perpetrating fascist regime which are used to justify mass murder, you are not a tool, no. You're a pathetic piece of human garbage. Has it occurred that many lives might be saved if we were to encourage 
the, the peaceful solution that's already on the table. To be clear, Tucker talks about Ukraine abandoning its NATO intentions to avoid the war, which was never about NATO. The only peaceful solution there was on the table laid out by Russia is Ukraine's capitulation, which means the end of the Ukrainian state and Ukrainians. But yeah, that's okay for Tucker. And also, Holocaust happened because the Jews were drinking the blood of Christian babies and had they stopped it, these 6 million Jewish lives would be saved. Simple solution, which America apparently ignored back then because the government just hated Hitler for his unpleasant mustache. But hey, we didn't come here to judge people for their incompetent, wrong thoughts. Well, that's a lie. There are a lot of people who misunderstand or misrepresent this war. But there's next level, which existed only in parallel dimensions before, the real, pure, distilled Russian propaganda. Which usually didn't reach the Western audience much, because on Russian TV they mostly make things up, add some fascist flavor, and put it in the heads of brain-dead babushkas in distant Russian villages. In the biolaboratories set up jointly with the United States in Ukraine, in the immediate vicinity of Russian territory, the biological weapon components were developed, the Russian Foreign Ministry reports. Tucker Carlson decided that the Fox News audience is ready for this pure Russian shit. The director of the US Cooperative Threat Reduction Program a man who would know, a man called Robert Pope, has confirmed that scientists are keeping Soviet-era pathogens for research purposes in Ukraine. They told us they were destroying them, they should have destroyed them, but they haven't. So to make this clear, once again, Russia, two weeks into the invasion and after killing thousands of people, decided to justify the war with some new delirium that there were biolabs in Ukraine developing a biological weapon. These lies were marginal even for Russian propagandists, so they did not force them a lot. But Tucker did. Secretive biolabs in Ukraine labs that are conducting experiments on highly dangerous pathogens. Now, that's not a story, as we told you, that we wanted to do. In fact, we didn't think it could be true. If you, God forbid, lived in Russia, you would get used to lies of such incredible level. Believe me, I'm Ukrainian, and we have been listening to this schizoid nonsense from the Russian side for years. The Russian media generates hundreds of false versions to submerge any truth in informational chaos. It's so over the top and bizarre. Usually, healthy people do not react to everything Russians say because it is impossible to analyze insane idiocy. They do not believe their own words, contradict themselves, forget their own versions, and live as if they never said anything. But some shitheads believe or seem to, and Tucker Carlson is one of them. Under oath in an open committee hearing, Tori Newland just confirmed that the Russian disinformation they've been telling us for days is a lie and a conspiracy theory and crazy and immoral to believe is in fact totally and completely true. The stuff is believable only if you're afraid to fall from the edge of the earth, because there are biolabs in almost every country, and they are researching viruses and stuff to prevent harmful illnesses. And don't get me wrong, I don't think that Tucker is somewhat stupid. He knows what he's doing. And you know who else knows? Russian government. Part of the Russian network's evidence for the existence of these weapons labs were clips from Fox News, different Russian TV network, just played a huge chunk of Tucker Carlson's Fox News show translated into Russian. Correct. In Kremlin documents, they direct their genocide-enabling propaganda machine to use Tucker as much as possible, like an old stinky condom in the shape of Kremlin's tower. And that's not some kind of a fluke. That's a deliberate campaign that doesn't benefit the US, Americans, it doesn't benefit Republicans or Democrats, it does not benefit the Fox News viewers, it benefits only one person. And Tucker has suspiciously warm feelings to him. Why do I hate Putin so much? Has Putin ever called me a racist? Has he threatened to get me fired for disagreeing with him? Has he shipped every middle class job in my town to Russia? Is he teaching my children to embrace racial discrimination? Is he making fentanyl? Is he trying to snuff out Christianity? Does he eat dogs? These are fair questions, and the answer to all of them is no. Tucker Carlson just created an OnlyFans account for Putin right on the Fox News channel. There seem to be several main talking points made by Tucker regularly throughout the Russian aggressive war against Ukraine, against Europe and America. And the main one is that helping Ukraine hurts America. And to be precise, it hurts regular Joe. Everything you buy will become much more expensive from the food you eat, to the car you drive, to tickets you need to take your family on vacation this summer, assuming you can still afford vacation by then. 
you're about to become measurably poor. Because you see, Ukraine is guilty of defending itself. And if Russia would just safely occupy it and kill some hundreds of thousands and displace millions, there would be no high gas prices, inflation, and the whole world would continue living in peace for a couple of years, before Russia attacks Poland, for instance. But then Tucker will say that NATO Article 5 is not in an American interest and that regular Joe does not have to die for some Polacks. You got us. It's a compelling argument, we're in. What's this gonna cost us to defend the country? By the time though, Tucker would probably need to open a Fox News studio in Moscow because remote work is not productive enough. Uh, Tucker could write those memos with his pal putting together and get all the credit and just... Russian forces had bombed a nuclear reactor in Ukraine. That seemed to be true. President Zelensky of Ukraine had said it repeatedly, but it was not true. No reactors were hit. An unnamed Ukrainian official claimed that radiation levels in the area had risen. That turned out to be untrue as well. Well, it was March 8, only two weeks into the invasion. A lot of information was spread in the fog of war. And by now, there are numerous Russian hits on southern Ukrainian nuclear plant. Russians stationed their military equipment right in the machine hall and threatening the world with nuclear catastrophe. But Tucker doesn't know what wind is, so he doesn't give a shit. What Carlson is doing here is not trying to debunk some fakes. He's actually heavily engaged in a joint Russian effort of disinformation. They're trying to say that everything is fake, you cannot believe anything anyone is saying, so they could just commit any crimes they want. Video shot in Bucha, Kyiv region. They call this proof that the Russian forces mass killed civilians. But it is worth looking carefully and it will be clear. This is another fake. Stage shot. One of the killed is shown raising hand and the other stands immediately after the operator's car drives by. If you didn't get it yet, those videos are not fakes. Russians committed genocide and just lie, lie and lie. And Tucker is happy to participate in any Russian info campaign there is. Like he's a devoted boy scout in a Russian summer death camp. Russia needs the world to stop helping Ukraine so it could safely occupy it. And therefore it spreads fakes about Ukrainians stealing weapons. Tucker? He's there on his knees, with a wide open mouth, waiting for a Russian daddy to put there his big fat lie. What happens to all these weapons that we send to Ukraine? Well, according to CNN, we don't know. Quote, the US has few ways to track the weaponry to send across the borders, so the weapons are disappearing. Fast, watch. Russia wants the US and EU sanctions to be lifted, and therefore blackmailing the world with a big war and nuclear apocalypse. Where is Tucker? Oh, here he is. At this point, a shooting war with Russia seems inevitable. How could war with Russia not be inevitable? Virtually everyone with power is for it. Any Russian point of view is generously serviced by this Fox News host. So, okay, let me see. Uh, if you add up this... Yes. Tucker Carlson is 100% Putin's bitch. Everything he says in regards to Ukraine is almost 100% copy of what Russians say on their Russian TV. And I don't know why he is doing this. But if something speaks like a Russian asset, looks like a Russian asset, and lies for Russia on one of the highest rated TV shows, I'd say probably he is. You see, there is long history of Russian corruption abroad. They bribe Western politicians, journalists, they even manage to bribe the fucking Chancellor of Germany and get away with it. Gerhard Schroeder made Germany dependent on Russian gas, built a pipeline with Russia, and after his term ended, he became a chairman of a board of Russian state oil and gas companies. This is what we call a Russian dream. So yes, I see little to no chance that Tucker is just a brain-dead useful idiot who loves this tits and belly for what they are. But what I'm seeing here is that no matter what motivates him, he is collaborating with Russia. He is Joseph Goebbels for keeping up with Kardashian's generation. And I say collaborating because Russia is an enemy of every citizen of any democratic country. And it never hit it. And if you work for Russia, yes, you work for an enemy. And the fun part is, there's nothing new in Tucker Carlson. Here's Douglas Chandler, an American broadcaster of Nazi propaganda during World War II. He was also fiercely fighting the tyranny of the Roosevelt regime, promoted ideas of American isolationism, and by mere coincidence got his paycheck from the Nazis. And it worked for a lot of people, although not for Nazis. Nazis lost, and Douglas spent the rest of his life in prison. Although Tucker seemed to have other plans. By any actual reality-based measure, Vladimir Putin is not losing the war in Ukraine. He is winning the war in Ukraine. I wonder why isn't he wearing a shirt skirt and not having pom-poms in his hand, collar and Russian flag. 
By the way, those were his words in August, and two weeks later, the Ukrainian army liberated as many settlements as Russia could not conquer in the last three months of the war. And as I'm recording this right now, Ukrainian armed forces are doing some miracles of military art, destroying the Russian army. Russia is losing it, and is going to lose. And it is only a matter of time and Western support, which Tucker is fighting so hard, before this empire of lies and death will crumble. And I fucking hope Tucker Carlson will go down with it. Thank you.